Hi everyone, it's Juliet Grandma's Creations. Thanks for joining me again. My gadget of the week is a group of gadgets. Here they are. So here they are. I recently had to make some bias binding um, quite small. And so I bought these for the purpose of getting this small bias binding maker or tip um, and it was cheaper to buy a set of five I mean crazy isn't it but anyway so one of the very first things I always wondered about these was on if you turn them over they've got a number they've always got a number on so that one says six This one, confusingly, nine. This one, 18. 12. And 25. So, I thought, well, what, what's these numbers? What are these numbers? What they are is, so this number six, the one that I needed, is actually millimetres. So that will make a six millimetre bias binding tape. The other thing that confused me when I first started making bias binding is how much do you cut the strip? You know, if you want to use a bias binder, how wide do you cut the strip that goes in one of these? Again, if you look at that and the way bias binding folds over it is double the width of the tip so this makes 12 millimeters so sorry this makes six millimeter bias binding so you would actually cut the width of fabric that you put through it at 12. this one is nine so you would cut 18 millimetres width of fabric to pop through there. So let me show you how it works. So I'm going to use this one. And so because six millimetres is a quarter of an inch, I've actually cut a strip that's half an inch. I've You've seen me do this before. You put the end of your strip, you put a diagonal cut in it just to make it easier to feed through. And then you think, well, hold on a minute. You know, this is, this is far too, far too thin when you start feeding it in. But then you'll see, starting these things off are usually the most difficult thing to do, the whole process. So you pop your strip in with the diagonal cut in it and you get a pin and you turn it upside down and you push it through here and then it starts to poke out the end. And then you can see. And then what you would do if that didn't quite go according to plan you can pull it through and then pull it back on itself and it does right itself. There we go. So then you would just get your iron and you would iron like that while pulling it back like that. Okay. So that's really handy because I had to make, as I say, some for this project. So I'm still doing this project. You've seen it a number of times on my videos. It's um, the cowslip from the Cowslip Country Quilts book by Joe Colwell. So these are the stems that she wanted you to iron in on themselves and they were so this is this is the sort of width they had to end up 
quarter and I thought oh, I'm not doing that I gave it a go I was struggling I was burning my fingers so I thought I'm going to just buy it going to buy a bias binding makeup and make it in bias binding and then I just hand sewed it down so that's what I needed it for but the other thing when they this set came is I thought this is really quite handy because the bigger set, the biggest one, is a handy size as well. So this is the um, the 25 millimeter, which is the biggest one in the set. It basically comes out at almost an inch, the bias binding, the width. So that there, almost an inch. So you would cut it at um, an inch and three quarters to pop that through, the width of the fabric to pop that through to make bias binding. And it basically makes this size, which is really, really handy. I mean, this is commercially made, but this is the sort of size. So this is the sort of bias binding width I use all the time. So to be able to make my own in that strip is going to be fabulous. Not only will it save money, but also you can then tailor make it if you've, you're making something and you want to tailor make from the fab that you're using some bias binding tape. Fantastic. So when this is folded over, that's the sort of width that you get. So it's a really handy size bias binding. So after the 25, I think the 18 which is three quarters of an inch so you cut your strip at uh, one and a half inches is the most handy one that i use i think um so these basically small medium and large those are going to be the ones that i'm mostly going to use the others though the 12 is handy too but um but it's great to have a set and then you've got them at hand for whatever size that you need. So I hope you found that useful. Um, a set of bias binding um, tips are brilliant. And you keep them in your kit and then you've always got them to hand. You can make bias binding any time. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you next week. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye for now.